Hey, Sneaky Linux back tonight. This is one of the first of a few tutorials I'm going to do for Puppy Linux. And tonight we're going to burn an ISO in Puppy Linux. And it's easy, easy peasy. So first we go down to burn an ISO to CD. And we click the CD or CDRW. Now bear in mind I'm going to use a CDRW for this. Because I've got plenty of them and I can't find any blank ordinary ones. Naughty. You specify your drive, which is SRO1 for me. There's a light on, and you find out where you've put your ISO. Now I've put it in my documents. I'll move that up a bit for you, and we click at it again, just like that. And it's a little 10 megabyte tiny core ISO. Okay, so we click OK. Now here you can do a multi session or a normal. Now multi session is not really well done, so we're going to click normal because it's one ordinary ISO, don't we? But we're going to turn the speed right down basically because of CDRW, and they're quite old actually, I think they're about four years old. I've only just unwrapped them. So we'll set it at four speed and we click it OK and here we go. We're going to a little text box and off we go. Now this does take a little while so don't worry if it doesn't do something all of a sudden. Now, obviously if you're not using a CDRW you won't have this problem because you can do it at half faster speed. So here we go. Slowly but surely, as I said before, slowly but surely. Wake me up if I go to sleep, wouldn't you? Slowly but surely, it starts writing. Now, there is a bit of lag between the writing and her display, so all of a sudden we'll get a bit of action in a minute and off it will go. But the whole idea of this is basically so we can burn our ISOs in Puppy Linux. Because if you're not used to it and you've never used Puppy Linux before, you want to do all these sort of things, so I'm going to do a few little things. To show you all the simple stuff. Now we're nearly at the end of this. Ten minutes. It fixates for a little while. Now I did actually edit this bit because it fixated for quite a while, but that's another reason because it's a CDRW. If you've an ordinary CDR, you wouldn't have this problem. Okay. So we'll just wait a while. We'll think about the weather or gold, frankincense, myrrh, whatever. And it was done. Burn free was never used. Now, would I like to verify the burn was successful? Well, of course we do, really, because there's no point in taking it out and it don't bloody work, is it, really? So basically, we just click OK in a little green box up here. Where is this? OK, that's it. Move that bloody pointer. There we go. We click OK, and it will actually verify the disk for us. Now, after a short time, remember I'm doing this on Puppy on a Stick as well. It's all done from the USB stick, no problem. Burns OK. Lovely. Our disk is basically good to go. So that's easy, easy peasy. That's a really, really short video. But these are some of the things you need to know if you've never used Puppy Linux before, because it's all going to be different from Windows or Mac or wherever you've come from. So there you go. 